In this video, we will take a closer look on diastolic dysfunction by means of left atrial functions. And we have to start with the first part, of course, the filling of the left atrium. And that's the so-called left atrial reservoir phase. And when you think about strain imaging, it's the left atrial strain reservoir phase as well. So the left atrial reservoir phase takes place during left ventricular contraction, so LV systole. During LV systole, an elastic recoil after the left atrial contraction leads to an expansion of the left atrium, so the contraction of the left ventricle, the recoil of the left atrium alters its dimensions and therefore a reduction of left atrial pressures. Blood is sucked into from the pulmonary veins. In the pulmonary venous signal, we will take a look at it closer, it's the S1 wave. Left ventricular contraction also leads to displacement of the mitral valve annulus towards the apex. So the atrial roof, the left atrial roof is fixed and it does not move. And therefore the left atrium is stretched longitudinally and therefore resulting in the maximum stretch in and systole of the left ventricle, the left atrial strain reservoir. 